Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I wanted to show you some Adobe Audition simple multi-track audio editing tips. Okay, let's get stuck in when we're editing away, whether it be audio production or a podcast, we really want to work quickly in the multi-track. And that's what I'm about to show you. Audio production tutorials are weekly on my channel. I'd love it if you would like this video. Also remember to subscribe so you never miss a video. And to make sure you get a ping every time I do release a video, hit the bell as well. Right, here we are inside a multi-track session already loaded up. That's the multi-track selection here, not the waveform. I've created this multi-track session to work in. And actually, I've got some audio from a podcast. I've got three different uh, tracks recorded on a Zoom recorder, and I'm going to drag them in. Now, notice default behavior here is to drag them all onto one track. I do not want that. I want them on three separate tracks. So the first little multi-track editing tip is to hold down the Alt or Option key if you're a Mac user, and it'll put them on three separate tracks. Uh, and again, letting go puts it back to the same track. Um, and this behavior is always asked for the first time you drag some, uh, multiple clips into multi-track. So you can actually say, well, every time I drag clips in, I want them to go onto separate tracks, or every time I drag clips in, I want them to go on the same track. So let's hold down Alt or Option and make sure that happens. There you go. They're all on different tracks. Now, there are different reasons why you might want them on different tracks. For instance, if you're an audio producer, and you want lots of sound effects on the same track, definitely select always bring them into the same track. But if you're a podcast editor and you're working with multiple different recordings that you need to mix together, definitely select put them on different tracks. That's the first tip. Secondly, we want to get rid of any unwanted tracks. So if I right click here and I go to the track menu, you can see there is actually delete empty tracks or you just hit shift and E on your keyboard and then you've got a much cleaner multi-track to work with. Next thing, I want to expand out these tracks so I can see them better. If you hit Control or Command and backslash, boom, you get a bird's eye view there. Looks absolutely marvelous. And you've got no dead space down here at the bottom. So really easy to work with. OK, let's move on and do some more stuff in the multi-track. Next thing I might do is rename the tracks by clicking on them and say Guest 1, Guest 2, and Guest Three. Okay, some quick shortcuts for working quickly in the multi-track. If you ever need to isolate something or make some cuts in the multi-track, now notice I'm using my scroll wheel to zoom in on the time bar here. Okay, this is where I am. I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse up on the time bar to zoom in and out. And you can also zoom in and out here by selecting the individual tracks like that to get it to the right size. But remember, if you really mess up, just hit Control or Command on a Mac backslash and you're back to a default view. So I'm just going to zoom in here and say I really wanted to isolate out this chunk of audio here. I can do that really quickly by hitting Control or Command K. It makes a cut there and Control Command K like that. And there we go. We've got a nicely trimmed piece of audio that I can move around. Notice also when I'm moving this audio left and right, when I'm overlapping it with another piece of audio, you're getting these yellow lines. These are crossfades. So what it's doing is it's fading out the initial piece of audio and fading in to your new piece of audio. This is particularly handy if you make some edits and you want those edits to sound smooth. A crossfade can really help. I'm just going to undo all of that now by hitting Control or Command and Z or Z if you prefer, if you're the other side of the pond. Another thing I'm going to show you in multi-track that's really, really cool is called Ripple Delete. And if you're a podcast editor, you're definitely going to thank me for this. Uh, so all these tracks are in sync. They're all separate speakers on separate tracks. But sometimes we want to cut out uh, from multiple tracks, say this little tut here that's going on here. So I want to get rid of all of that silence and keep things nice and flowing. Now, usually I'd select that little piece, hit delete. Oh, it's only deleted one bit. OK, well, no worries. I can just select all the tracks and hit delete. But now I have to like grab all these tracks and budge them up. So that they're <laughs> it's just not ideal, is it? So ripple delete is your best friend. All you have to do is select in one portion of track the amount of silence you want to delete. Then you right click, you look for ripple delete. You'll only have to do this once because then you can learn the shortcut. Time selection in all tracks is what we're going for. Control, shift and backspace. On a Mac, that would be command, shift and backspace or delete. Uh, and then you delete it all. So I'm going to use the shortcut now. Control, shift and backspace on my PC. Boom, there you go. Deleted the silence and budged everything up. 
control or command backslash and we're back to a bird's eye view and i think in just a few minutes you've learned quite a lot about the multi-track some great shortcuts and processes you can use in your everyday audio editing one more bonus tip by the way if you get to the end of a recording like this and you zoom right in and you notice there's a long tail of silence you can actually go ahead and drag that in by just hovering over the end getting this red icon and trimming and if you want to do it to all the tracks you can also do that by selecting everything and look at that we can just bring all the tracks in like that so really handy multi-track is the best if you're still editing in waveform what are you doing move over to multi-track and let me know your aha moments and questions about multi-track in the comments down below